Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my July favorites. I don't have a lot to show you, but when I do have a product to show you, I have several that I like from that particular product, if that makes any sense. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and just get started. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so you'll know when I put out a new video. So yeah, let's get into my July favorites. All right, first things first, we're gonna go ahead and start with a foundation. This is the Revolution IRL Filter Foundation. Foundation. This is in the shade F12. This is a foundation that I have been wearing. It is a long wearing foundation. It looks beautiful on the skin. It doesn't make me oily. I actually have it on today. And I do want to mention my Makeup Forever. This is the Redness Corrector. I actually use these together. And the reason I do is because this one can come off just like a little bit too warm. So what I do is I put in some of this green corrector and it neutralizes the foundation. So I have been really, really enjoying this. I think it's beautiful on the skin. I use both of these today. This is the perfect shade for me and it just goes on beautifully. I do like it with a brush. So I did use a brush with it today. You can use a sponge, but I really feel like the brush gives a little bit more coverage. It also makes it look more seamless. So this combo has really been working for me. Okay. Another product I want to show you is by e.l.f. And this is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. Now I do think that this is a complete dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury with a little tweak to it. I think this one is maybe a little bit more glowy and the Charlotte Tilbury has a little bit more of a satin finish. But other than that, they're pretty much the same product. I do have three shades here and that's why when I was telling you at the beginning of the video that I love a product but I have more than one shade that I love of the product, this is what I meant by that. So these are the shades that I picked up. So I picked up the shades of four, five, and six. Now, six is way dark, but I love this to actually add onto my skin as a bronzer. So like a sheer bronzer, love this for that. And the shade five is actually the shade that I'm using now. Shade four is a little bit lighter, but shade four would be more for like those times when I go into the winter months and my skin's a little bit lighter. So I've tried all three. And like I said, I love all of them. And I will say that I kind of like this better than my Charlotte Tilbury because it has has a slight glowiness to it. it. Makes my skin look a little bit healthier. I took these with me to my trip in Florida and I used them the whole time and I love them. So let me show you the shades that I got because I want to show you the colors. And I didn't do a video on these because the day that I got them, I actually was going out of town. So I went ahead and just tested them out, used them with foundation, without foundation. And I also used them like as a highlight, like I would the Charlotte Tilbury like on the tops of my cheeks. So those are the shades right there. Of course, they go from light to darkest and they are just gorgeous. They look so beautiful on the skin and you'll see that they have that slight glowiness to them. Like I said, I tested them and the way I really like to wear them is I like to wear them underneath my foundation. I think they just give my foundation that little bit of glow, just like what I have on today. So what I did was I went in with number five and I put that just everywhere. And then with the number six, I went ahead and used it kind of like as a tinted bronzer and I went just on the the tops of my cheeks right here on my forehead a little bit on my nose so yeah that's how I use them and guys they're just so so good especially for the price I love them so much for myself that I ended up buying my daughters their shade because I know they're gonna love it they love the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter and I just know they're gonna love this one so those really worked out for me another thing I've been loving that I love multiples of is the NYX this is milky gloss I have four shades here I think I have another one that's more of like a more of a raspberry shade but I don't have it with me so I have to say guys this milky gloss really really impressed me I will say because I tried this milky gloss before when it first came out and I did not like it I was like it's so thin it doesn't have any pigment what's the point right it was just glossy but these have pigment the one I have on today is salted caramel I actually have it on top of another lip product that I'm going to show you but these are so good guys I did try them in one of my videos but I'm gonna put a little bit more on so you can see the consistency and how rich in pigment this is you see I don't even have to put a lot on 
it's so pigmented. Isn't that beautiful? I am loving these guys. I cannot get over these. They're so good. Like I said, I only have those four and then another one. I haven't really found any other shades that I'm really into. I did want to try maybe a lavender or a blue shade, but I'm going to look into that and see if I can get one. But yeah, these are really good. Very nice on the lips. Very moisturizing. Very glossy. And like I said, they, they have a nice pigment to them. And then the other lip product that I've been loving, I have three of these and I haven't tried the other two, but I did try this one. Love this one. I took this one with me to Florida too. And this is by Beauty Bakery. So I purchased this at CVS. I never had tried her liquid lipsticks. And when I tried this, I absolutely fell in love with it. So this is what that one looks like. It feels so comfortable on the lips. It feels as if I have nothing on there. I don't feel like it dries my lips throughout the day, which is a good thing because a lot of liquid lipsticks that I've tried, I really feel like by the end of the day, my lips feel like crusty and dry and I just don't like that. But this really goes on very smooth, very creamy, and it's not patchy. A lot of times when you get liquid lipsticks that are lighter in shade, you feel like they can come off patchy. This does not come off patchy. So that's another lip product that I really liked. And then for concealer, I've been loving the Joa concealer. I have it on today. This is the shade light medium. The only negative that I would say about this is the tip because it's just like any concealer that has this sponge tip. It gets all over the cap and it can get a little messy. I do like that it's a twist up so you don't have to get a lot of product out of there. And I love the coverage of this. It is like a full coverage concealer for me. I have it on today. I can honestly say that it covers very well. It doesn't dry my under eyes and it sets well with powders. This has really been a game changer for me as far as drugstore concealers. If you've been following me, you know I love the Maybelline erase rewind concealer I think I like this one a lot better I think this one feels a little bit more hydrating but yet it sets well and it has really good coverage yeah really been loving the Joa perfect complexion eye serum concealers that is what that looks like I actually went back to using my undone powder in medium that's what I have on my skin today and I love the finish of this guys I have talked about this powder on my channel like forever and I just love how smooth my skin looks with this powder. I think the powder sets my makeup well. It doesn't look patchy on my skin. It has this really beautiful, smooth consistency to it. So that's it right there. It does have like a slight sheen to it, but not like to where it's gonna look shiny on your skin. It's just gonna look more airbrushed. And I would say, I know a lot of people have like their dupes for the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder. I think that's what it's called. I would say this is just like it as far as consistency but this has a little bit more pigment to it so if you're looking for an airbrush finish that has a little bit more pigmentation I would definitely check out the undone powders another one that I've been loving from undone that I recently tried is the banana bear powder this I did not use under my eyes today but I have been using it I took it with me to Florida I love this powder it's just like this and the fact that it looks so airbrushed so smooth so these are some powders that I know I will constantly replenish when I'm done with these because they're just such good powders. If you haven't tried the undone powders, I would definitely check them out. They are at Target and Ulta. Another powder that I recently tried, and I tried it in Florida and I have it on today, underneath the undone medium. So the undone medium is pretty much on the perimeter. This is more in the center of my face. This is a Physician's Formula Better Believe It Face Powder. This is in the shade Translucent. It does have like a little bit of lightness to it. It doesn't come off as translucent as you would think. It has some color to it, but even so, it is such a gorgeous powder. I just love it. I love how smooth and creamy this is, guys. It reminds me of their bronzers, but, but of course without the bronzing shade. And yes, it does have a little bit of scent to it, but it's not overwhelming. But look how beautifully smooth that powder looks. It's right here. Super smooth. And like I said, it does have like a little bit of tint to it. It really doesn't bother me because I do use this more like in the center of my face to kind of highlight the center. So yeah, it really doesn't bother me 
me, but man, this is really, really smooth and creamy. I love it. I'm super impressed with it. I couldn't believe how much I liked it. So for another powder, this is a loose powder. This is by Ben Nye. It's the Luxury Powder, and this one is in Rose Petal. So this is the one that I do have under my eyes, and this is insanely good. It smooths out my under eyes. It brightens them. If you like that under eye that's brightened where your eyes look a little bit more awake, this will do it. This makes your eyes look more awake, more brightened, and it just sets any concealer that I've used beautifully. I love Love the consistency of this it's very finely milled this is rose petal but I can't tell that it's pink under my eyes it just looks like any brightening setting powder so this is what it looks like that's it right there and you can tell that it is brightening I have really really been enjoying it I think it's so pretty and it's just like perfect for my under eyes highlighter that I've been using since I purchased it is the essence the highlighter this to me is a dupe for my Dior Nude Glow. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. I'll put a picture right here if you haven't, but this is exactly like that Dior Nude Glow. I mean, it is spot on. It is creamy, smooth, melt in your skin type of highlighter. Very, very gorgeous. I don't have any on right now, but I'll put some on right now for you. But this is super creamy and it's just got a beautiful glow to it and like i said it is a dupe for my nude glow by dior they're just so so much alike so for bronzer i want to mention the house labs bronzer this is phenomenal it is one of the best bronzers that i've tried that is high end here lately actually a clean product at sephora so that is something to like about it it is pigmented but it's so easy to work with i have not had any issues with with this bronzer like getting choppy on my skin or like getting patchy it's been a really gorgeous bronzer for my skin I've just really been enjoying it I'm glad that I tried the house labs products I hadn't tried them when she first launched them and then I saw these at Sephora and I was like you know what I'm gonna give them a try so glad I did because I've really been using the heck out of this bronzer another thing I've been using the heck out of is her house labs this is the edge precision brow pencil this one's a medium brown it's pigmented but it's not super pigmented and it does have that ability to make those like stroke like hairs and I really feel like this makes my brows look a little bit more natural not so like you know harsh so yeah I've really been enjoying her eye pencil and her bronzer I do love her highlighter but I haven't been using it as much I want to test it out more and more and let you guys know before I even bring it onto a favorites but yeah those two products are really good from that line. I've got two blushes I want to show you. One of them is the Camila blush by Stila. This is a gorgeous blush. It's perfect for summer. I took it with me on my trip and I absolutely love the look of this. It's kind of like a bronzy rose to me. So that is what it looks like right there. It goes beautifully onto the skin and I just take it and press it. And it's so gorgeous. I just love it on the skin. This gives that really beautiful, like I said, bronzy rose tone to it. Another blush I want to mention is by Anastasia, and it's their blush stick. Now, I only bought one of these because I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about this. It does have a brush on one end, which I try to use, but honestly, guys, I need a little bit more fluffier, denser, like the one I just used. I can't use those really tightly densed brushes when I'm putting it on my cheeks because I feel like they're harder to use and they break up my foundation sometimes because they're so stiff. But for the blush, because that's what we're really talking about today, this blush is simply, simply gorgeous. I am so glad I got this shade, guys. It's called Peach Caramel, and oh my gosh, you're gonna see how gorgeous this shade is. It is kind of like the Camila blush that I just showed you, but more intense. So this is what that looks like, and that's the Peach Caramel. This on the cheeks, looks so stunning and the blendability of these blushes are insane. I am definitely picking up more during the Sephora sale in November. I'm not gonna pick any up right now, but in November, I plan on getting more of these. They are beautiful on the skin. They have a satin finish. They're not too dewy. They're not super emollient. They just blend beautifully on the skin and they stay put. So another product I wanna show you is this Sigma palette. I purchased this at Target. Target carries Sigma. And this one's called Ritzy. I don't know 
if you've ever tried Sigma eyeshadows, but this is the second palette that I purchased from Sigma and I'm in love with the formula. This formula is insane. Every shadow goes on so stinking beautiful and they're creamy and they're pigmented. They're easy to work with and I just don't know why I don't have more of these. I did buy one not too long ago and I fell in love with that one and that one was in one of my favorites as well. But when I got this one, I thought, you know what? It's so basic. I really didn't know how much I was going to like it and I absolutely love it. As you can see, it's gotten some love because look, some of those shadows that I have there are like dented in. So yeah, so I really love this. I don't have it on my eyes today because I have something different that I want to show you, but this is just so beautiful. If you haven't tried the Sigma palettes, you can get them now at Target. I would definitely check these out. They're so good. So another eye product I want to show you, I have three of them, but the one I have on my eyes today is this one. This one's called Positive. So this is more like a coppery shade. They're so good, guys. They're so easy to put on. Basically what I've done with these is I'll put them on the back of my hand I'll get a brush and I'll mix the brush in there and then I'll just kind of throw it on to my eye and it's like a one and done easy eye look that you can use anytime any day these are such a good formula guys they don't dry so fast where you can't like spread them out I put this on in like I'm not even kidding it probably took me five minutes to do both eyes and these are the Sephora charged up liquid eyeshadows another product I wanted to show you guys is the smooth trip and primer by Oma Oma came out with this product here recently I tried it I fell in love with it I've been using it like crazy it smooths every stinking wrinkle and pore out on my skin. And I will say that if you like the face base by Bobbi Brown, I feel like this is somewhat of a dupe. It is hydrating on the skin. It smooths out the wrinkles. It smooths out the pores. It helps your makeup stay in place. And I really think that it's a very close to that. I will get a sample of the Bobbi Brown and really test it out to make sure. But to be honest, this might be a dupe for it. Another product that I've been loving, I picked up again. I used to have it a long time ago. I don't know what I did with it, but it's the Gold Deposit by MAC. I know a lot of people have been trying this Gold Deposit out. It's been sold out at a lot of places, but I actually found it, I think at Nordstrom. It finally came back in stock and I went ahead and picked it up. And I have been really, really enjoying this. I think it adds such a beautiful bronzy glow to the skin. And I wanna put some on now because I think it's so pretty. My mirror fell on the floor, so I'm going to use the viewfinder, but, and it adds that beautiful bronzy glow. Literally, you wear this, you're going to look like a bronze goddess. I'm telling you, you have got to try this out. The formula of this is beautiful. It has a very nice sheen to it super beautiful on the skin. You can put it on with a really light, small brush. I like it with these type of brushes. I don't like to go in like with a dense brush because then it'll come off really coppery. But I think with a stippling brush or even this type of brush, it's gonna look really beautiful on the skin. So let's see, I think I'm coming down to my last products guys for makeup. So the last product I wanna show you, and I'm only gonna pull a couple of these out, are these RMS blushes. You guys know I picked up all the shades and then these RMS blushes blushes. They are so, so good guys. So good. I have this one on my cheeks today. This one's called Mai Tai. And I think this is the one that I said was in comparison to the NARS Orgasm, but this one's a lot better. But this one is the one I have on my cheeks. These are really beautiful as a blush and a slight highlighter. And when I say slight, I mean very slight. It gives a glow, but it doesn't give that highlighting effect. That's why I say slight because it it just gives beautiful pigmentation, but it also has a nice glow to it. I've used every single one of these shades. I cannot stop using these blushes. They are a staple right now for me. They're so good. And if you don't want to buy the compacts, do like I did and just buy the refills. I sell them at Camera Ready Cosmetics. If you've never shopped there, you can even get 10% or 15% off. Okay, so that was it for the makeup. We're going to go ahead and go into a few other items. I don't have any clothing items for you guys today. I am going to be doing a quick clothing haul for you guys, showing you some things that I like to work out in, also some things that I like to wear like casually. So that's going to be coming really soon. But I wanted to show you this perfume that I picked up. I did go to the Nordstrom sale and I picked up this set of the Perfume de Marley. This is actually the rose scent. I do have a smaller travel size that I used the whole time that I was out of town. This smells so refreshing. I never thought that I was going to really like this because 
because I'm not really a florally scent girl when it comes to scents. I do like florally scents if mixed with like musks, but this one, it is straight up floral, rose, clean, fresh scent. It just smells so fresh, so clean, like you're in a garden. You know, the wind's blowing and you smell all the roses and it's just that clean, fresh scent. I started using the Sol de Janeiro Milky Leave-In Conditioner. I used my Lenore Grell Conditioner Up. It's the spray one, but I started using this one and I love the way it makes my hair smell. Oh my gosh, I love this scent, period. I will continue to buy this scent, the Boom Boom Cream scent. It's warm, but it's kind of summery to me, you know what I mean? So this is really good for your hair. It makes your hair really soft. It's easy to comb through once you put this in. Leave-in conditioners are great for your hair because they seal the cuticle. They actually help your hair grow, believe it or not. Another product that I got from the Nordstrom cell that I've been loving is this OC or Osea oil. Oh my gosh, this is so refreshing. It smells so clean, it smells so beautiful. Very light scent. It's not super heavy and it doesn't stay like greasy on your skin. It's an oil, but it dries. So it's like a dry oil. So you see that it's very glowy, but once you rub it in, it is not going to feel greasy at all. It's going to leave a nice sheen on your skin. Kind of smells like a little lemon scent, but just really refreshing. The last cream product I wanna bring up is the Nutrius Brazilian Body Butter Cream. This is a dupe for the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. I have to say that this cream is pretty much the exact same cream. I looked at the ingredients. The difference is this one is a lighter scented cream. It's not as strong as the Boom Boom Cream. So if you like the Boom Boom Cream, the consistency of it and the Feel of it and the moisturizing effect of it, but you're kind of over the smell, get this one. This one is going to be the one for you because it doesn't have that strong boom boom scent. It does have that scent, but it's very faint, very light. My daughters actually like this one better. My mom loves this one. I got that for her when I bought it because it came with a pack of two and it was like, if I love it, she's gonna love it and she loves it. She uses it all the time. So the last product I wanna show you is my GHD Curler. I love this thing. This thing heats up so quickly. It heats up just like that and it leaves a beautiful soft curl in my hair. I really am enjoying this. It does have, it's not a wand, so it does have that clip there, but I love it. It styles my hair without like burning my hair. There's not like a temperature dial there. You know, sometimes I don't know, am I putting it too high? Am I putting it too low? This one just has a set temperature on it. It's just perfect. So that's it for my July favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, let me know what you liked in the month of July or if there's some products here that you would like to see me try. I know some of them that you guys have not seen me use on camera, but I'd be happy to do it for you. So thank you again. Take care and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.